वेलकम टू कोड्स ऑफ एट टेक टूडे विल बी कवरिंग प्री प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द डेटा एस शोन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन ओपन एनी ऑफ द डेटा फाइल्स फ्रॉम हियर सो आई चूज अ क्रेडिट डेटा सेट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो इट विल डायरेक्टली ओपन इन बेका so why do we need uh, pre processing right so uh, certain algorithms may it be associate algorithm or your classifying the data or applying clustering algorithms on the data the data needs to be in a particular format which is desirable for that particular algorithm to run so in this case we might need certain pre processing operations so uh, what is happening in pre processing we would either be removing certain attributes for better visualization of the data or will be applying certain filters to achieve a specific format of the data right so the filterings can be a discretization or sampling class balancer resampling the many filters provided by the vaca uh, application will use them accordingly as per the requirement all right so to pre process the data so i have a data file open now So first we start with removing an attribute, right? So we'll see the difference in visualization once an attribute is removed. So you can click on visualize all over here. You can double click on it. It uh, takes few minutes to load. Okay, so as you can see, all these attributes, you can see the visualization of these attributes, right? no maybe for uh, some particular requirement we do not need uh, this credit amount attribute so how am i going to remove this is let me close this or oh, open multiple times it's okay just uh, make it an credit amount right i'm going to click on this attribute and you can simply click on remove this is how you remove an attribute right so now that that attribute is removed so we can now visualize the data and you can see that particular attribute will not be visible in our visualization so you can visualize all the data over here and you can also visualize the data here right so all you have to do is increment the point size and increment your jitter be able to see slight data points like if you click on this you'll be able to see the data points right you can visualize even here and you can visualize and visualize all tab so this is one method of pre processing the data that is removing certain attributes another method of pre processing that we are going to be using uh, is applying certain filters so as you can see in the pre process tab you can see filter over here you can click on choose and then after choosing a particular filter we are going to apply the filter over here so in our filters the filters can be uh, supervised or unsupervised filters and the filters can be applied for either your attributes or your instances in both the cases now let's see certain filters like discretization random sampling etc so what you can do over here is in the filters this plus icon you can see in attributes you can see the discretize filter click on that and this is selected and you can click on apply now after applying this filter you can visualize your data and then your data visualization will be slightly different from what it was previously okay similarly you can choose other filters for example say nominal to binary and then apply and then we'll have a different visual now it will take some time visualization takes loading some time based on the number of attributes we have and based on the number of instances so that's all right we will have to wait it out sometimes yes we have it now so you can see the output is slightly different compared to our first filter similarly you can choose more filters from here according to the requirement you can apply these filters so there is resampling filter and class balancer as mentioned earlier 
uh, you have to follow the same procedure if you have to use one of the filters just select the filter and then click on apply over here and then in unsupervised filters we have got our uh, numeric to nominal filter and then we have got your nominal to binary filter this is basically to convert your data values into nominal values or numerical or binary values to achieve the specific results and so this is how you can apply the filters and visualize it so that's it